is up there everybody and welcome back to the channel guys on today's video guys i'm going to be showing you guys how to do a coolant flush on my 1993 honda civic del so it is the 1.5 liter non-vtec guys so if you do have the 1.6 vtec it might be slightly different but probably a similar process so but yeah, other than that guys, here is my 1993 Honda Civic Del Sol. If you are new to the channel, here it is guys, ladies and gentlemen. So the only aftermarket part I got on this car is the wheels, but that's about it. So other than that guys, it is completely bone stock. The reason why I am doing a coolant flush today is that, well first thing first, it is a wrong coolant color. It has a yellow coolant in there when it's supposed to be a blue coolant. Now, keep in mind guys, all Hondas takes blue coolant so just keep in mind that and then second thing guys is that my car is not overheating at all it's actually man what's the term of word for this underheating I guess it just keeps underheating so let's say if I'm driving on the freeway it's totally fine it stays in the middle but then as soon as I get off the freeway and then you know if I'm chilling at the red light then it just like the needle will go down so I guess it's under cooling. I don't know the you know terms of war here. I'll show you guys. Now guys, here's that coolant needle down there. And then it's supposed to stay like right around middle, but it wasn't. And right after I got off the freeway, you know, if I'm chilling at the red light, it just like slowly drops down. And when I start driving again, it goes back to the middle. Now guys, the first thing came across my mind. I thought the thermostat was bad. But then the previous owner, right before he sold it to me, he did replace the thermostat. And I asked my coworker, and then he's like, no, it's not the thermostat because if it was the thermostat, then it will be overheating. And they told me that it's probably that the previous owner did the 50-50 mix, coolant and water 50-50 mix. And you're not supposed to do that. And it is the wrong coolant color. And you're supposed to use the blue Honda coolant, which is right here. And it is, you know, pre-mixed from the factory 50-50. So you're supposed to use that. So that's probably the reason why it is under cooling. Under, how do you say it? It's just stay too cold. You know the cool level. Under cooling. Un, yeah, under cooling, I guess. That's the word I'm looking for. And we just did have a freezing weather here in Seattle, guys. So it totally makes sense that water will start to get froze up. It totally makes sense that previous owner, you know, added a water in it. So, yeah, that's the reason why I'm going to give it a shot and do a flush and if i still can't figure out this problem then man i don't know let me know in the comments below guys what you guys think the problem is but that's what i think you know the previous owner did the 50 50 mix so yeah let's give it a shot so today guys i am going to be showing you guys how to do a coolant flush on this bad boy now before i start flushing the coolant i want to put the heat all the way up high now my car is turned off so you know you don't hear the wind noise at all and turn the heat all the way up high so yeah that way when you're done you know flushing the coolant afterwards you you know hop back in your car and then turn it on you'll have the full blast of heat so that way you know the air bubble can escape that way so yeah ready to go on that part all right the next thing you want to do is open this cap now make sure don't open this cap when the engine is hot make sure the engine is cooled off and then after that you could just open this cap open, all right? And also open up the overflow tank as well. Oh, that's tight. That's under good, there you go. Just like that. All right guys, so now to flush the fluid completely, you guys, underneath of the radiator, there is a nipple, so you can just twist that and then it should start coming out. So let's slide this bad boy underneath here. go all right next step guys gonna take the overflow tank slide it out just like that and dump it all right now that's empty you could just put it back in it slides in just like that it just slides in slides out perfect I use a funnel to fill the reservoir tank uh, or overflow tank up to the maximum line. Honestly guys, just pouring it without a funnel will be easier. Just take your time and just fill it up. Now I, after I top out, 
if it doesn't go more then I'm gonna loosen this bleeder valve a little bit and then it should go down a little bit all right so now through the bleeder valve the colon's coming out that means it's good all right no more air trapped in there so I'm gonna tighten that up Should be good and if you do want to let more air bubbles out you can just press on the hose to let more air bubbles out underneath there too overflow tank ready the radiator ready i think everything is good so let's just go start the car up so this should work i have the heat full blast ready to go all right guys so i've been running my car for about 20 minutes now the needle is just chilling there a little bit below center but that's good but that's where you want to be at so yeah so it's not going under or over that level so that is good so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video guys i hope this video was very helpful I'm doing a coolant flush on my 1993 honda civic deal so so yeah but other than that guys, um, if you do have the same issue, if you guys do have the cold weather and then your needles just keep dropping and just do a coolant flush and throw a proper coolant in it, like the blue coolant from Honda. If you guys enjoyed today's video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Other than that guys, peace out and stay thirsty my friends.